Hi, everybody. It's Julie. Thanks for joining me today for some Bible journaling. I'm going to be um, working in my little psalm book here in Psalm 98. And I got this little psalm book from Legacy of Love Creations. It's an Etsy shop, and that's her Instagram um, handle is Legacy of Love. And there are so many different um, covers that you can get. This is one that I got a couple years ago. And what I love about Ashley, that's her name, is that on the inside, she will do hand lettering and she'll ask you the verse and then she'll do the hand lettering. And I, I just love her lettering and her artwork. So I will link her Etsy shop in the description box. Um, I wanted to do the hymn joy to the world because i'm going to be using this stamp set from by the well for god it's called joy to the world i was studying in their advent study uh, the 25 gifts of christmas today's study was the steadfast love of god and um, these are just where i've been taking my notes for the study and this is the um, devotional right here the 25 gifts of love and the verse for today was Psalm 105. Well, so when I was looking in my Bible at 100 verse 5 in Psalms, I saw so many different references around it in 98 and 99 of the steadfast love. And I wanted to use these Christmas trees here. And this verse stuck out to me. Make a joyful noise to the Lord, all the earth. Break forth into joyous song and sing praises. And this whole chapter, it's talking about he has remembered his steadfast love and faithfulness to the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of God. And because we remember his steadfast love and faithfulness, all the earth sings and makes a joyful noise. That is joy to the world, that the Lord has come. His steadfast love is manifest in Jesus, in the incarnation of Jesus. And that's what we're celebrating right now in this Advent season, in at this Christmas season. And boy, do we ever need to remember His steadfast love right now. And that we have reasons to be joyful. So that's what I'm gonna focus on today. I'm gonna to do some paper piecing with these Christmas trees. And um, let me just show you how I came up with what I'm gonna do. I've been doing these um, faith dex cards as I go through the study. And today uh, was Steadfast Love, and I made this card, this uh, Christmas tree. Now, I just use markers to color the different parts, and so that gives it a, a neat look but I'm gonna use some paper piecing today and I'll show you what I mean. But I've been having a lot of fun with these little cards. So you can see all my different uh, posts over on Instagram. So go over there and follow that. If you don't already, my handle is julesk.jules and it's spelled like uh, my channel. So this was from day five. And I love that with these little cards, I can just really embellish them and uh, make texture and layers. This was day four, prayer. This was day three, anointed by God. This was day two, um, God's faithfulness. His love is faithful. And then this was day one, uh, made in his image. So these are, uh, this study is focusing on the 25 gifts of love, and each day we focus on another gift of love. And so today we're talking about his steadfast love. So I'm gonna go ahead and put you on fast forward as we get started. Okay, so I'm prepping my page um, just by putting a paper towel down because I know I'm gonna use some smushing of Distress Oxides. I just wanna get a quick, background color on here and my go-to method is smushing so this is tumbled glass it's a distress oxide color um, and I just wanted to have kind of a sky look and again I wasn't really thinking too much about this just a very simple process so I do dry that I smushed it and then dried it I'm going to add a little bit more green tone by adding now peacock feathers in. So I'm just kind of mixing those, do some more smushing. 
and again I dry in between my layers I cut out some of that drying time and there I get just some quick color on the page it's so easy and fun to do such a quick um, effect that you see quick results okay I'm gonna start my stamping now I'm stamping on paper because I didn't want a lot of bulk I ended up gluing them on to cardstock which you'll see later but this is a page uh, a piece of paper just typing paper and I've already typed up my verse okay so I stamped my four trees I have an extra one here because I wanted to make sure I had a good impression in different colors that's uh, this pink color is worn lipstick the red is candied apple the teal is peacock feathers and then wild honey so I cut out those pieces and now I'm cutting out my text so I printed it out on my typewriter which I got as an early Christmas present and I am loving it I love 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 it my husband didn't know why I wanted a typewriter but that's why so I have to keep showing him that I'm using it okay so these little paper pieces you can see I cut out each piece um, each color and that's going to give me four different trees that I can vary up the colors how they um, are put together and this was kind of fun it was a little challenging but it was fun it was kind of like a puzzle piece because I didn't want any of the same colors in the same tree so you can see me rearranging it now when I cut these out I made sure to cut them all the same like I always had that little white strip up at the top and that just made it consistent and the sizes would be consistent as I played with all four of them so isn't that cool looking so my thought here is that the it, the verse said that all the earth rejoices so I wanted to make these trees happy and joyful and these bright colors are just perfect for that so I'm going to glue these pieces now onto some cardstock and the reason why I decided to do this is because I wanted to add some dimension and that dimensional tape the foam tape that I use works much better on cardstock so I could have just started by stamping on the cardstock um, but I still would have had to cut them out and then glue them on something else so I've glued all four pieces down and there's some a uh, little bit of stickiness around there and residue from the glue so I used my powder tool to get rid of that residue and that stickiness from any glue that seeped out now I am putting some foam adhesive on the back of a few of these trees two of them I decided that I'm only going to use three trees I like the rule of threes having an odd number and plus it just fit better on this page so now I'm stamping this is ground espresso it's a brown and I'm stamping the stem of the tree underneath the trees clean it with my awesome stamp chamois now you saw me there I just squished the lid of the ink pad so that it picks up a little bit of the ink and that gives me a little bit of a pool of color rather than uh, stamping it onto some clear packaging I would have used too much of the ink there so that's a quick way not every stamp ink pad not stamp but not every ink pad is uh, pliable enough to squish the lid like that but some of them are the distress oxides are I added another piece of foam tape to one of these I just double layered it so that it would um, poke out even more so then I adhered those down and I'm gonna stamp the text the sentiment joy to the world I'm placing my uh, strips of the Bible verse so I can make sure I know how I want this to work I love this little psalm book it's just so cute and it it makes for a, a fun easy page because it's small okay I'm gonna stamp in peacock feathers the joy to the world sentiment I was trying to decide whether I should do it in black or the this teal I didn't want it to be too stark so that's why I chose the teal color now I'm gonna glue my pieces down I find when I'm working with paper that the liquid glue works best rather than the 
adhesive, the tape adhesive, but you can't use too much of it. But that's why that powder tool is so important because any glue that kind of seeps out, it works best with that powder tool. You can see me, I'm using it again. Baby powder works too, it's just not as controlled as using a tool like this. Okay, so I'm flipping through the designer papers that are available from By the Well for God. There are two different sets. And I'm gonna use this little strip here to make a tab. It's got matching Christmas trees to what I used. I do have all of my products linked in the description box. Cut that out with my tab punch. And I just think that's a perfect little tab for this page. And I put up on the tab, Joy to the World. I do use my tweezers a lot for this when I'm working with these little strips, especially when you're gluing. It just helps to keep the glue off of your fingers. Now I'm gonna outline all of these strips and I'm going to um, mark my verses. This verse um, just is so powerful. We rejoice, we have so much to be joyful for because of his steadfast love. And I just thought that this um, text was powerful and something I really need to embrace right now. So I'm taking some Ranger Stickles Crystal Glitter Glue. Crystal is the color that I'm using. And I'm giving some detailing here. I make some snow at the bottom and then the strips around my tree, I go through there and I add the crystal effect to it. And it's, it does take a little bit of time to dry, but it, it adds a nice effect. Now I'm adding some snow by watering down some white acrylic paint and just splattering that just over my trees. I don't want it to be everywhere. So I'm just giving a little bit of effect of the snow. I'm going to stamp my date and I'll staple my tab up there. I just like that texture that it adds to it. So there's my page. Now I do come in, you can see it in the still shots, I add a little bit of washi tape to the top, add a bow, and I outline with a shadow the joy to the world. So you can see that as well. So thanks for hanging out with me today. I pray that uh, this Advent season you are blessed and focusing on uh, the God's steadfast love and the reason why we have to be joyful. If you have any questions or comments, leave them in the comments section. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and um, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Thanks for watching. God bless. Bye-bye.